Yep, if you're a fan of the Commandos series, or if you recently saw War Mongrels on the channel, or Desperados 3, then I would say that this game is definitely OG. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun has got its own standalone game called Ico's Choice, I believe is how you pronounce that one. And of course it is standalone, so you don't really need the base game in order to play this one. Of course, taking place in feudal Japan, all these characters here have different abilities and whatnot, just like they did in Commandos, in order to take down the enemy and save the day. We'll be playing a little bit of a press kit type game here, uh, where it's going to be kind of more of a curated experience for some missions later in the actual game. So we won't really know everything that's going on with the story, so no real spoilers, except for maybe one or two missions on what's going on, but not really anything much more than the basic premise. Anyway, thank you very much for subscribing and uh, hanging out with me, and thank you very much for smashing that like button. We'll take our first look here at the game as it's coming out very soon, and make sure you add it to your Steam wish list if you like it. All right, let's go ahead and try our first look at Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, Ico's Choice. Let's go. Well, that is certainly not a Japanese boat, but we happen to find ourselves in the, essentially the Bay of Tokyo at some point. But those are Japanese guards, possibly for a rival uh, shogun, maybe? Oh yeah, I recognize special units too, like the uh, more elite units, the guys in the hats. Oh yes. Is that a monkey? <gasps> ah, finally. Our dutiful observer is resting his eyes. It's like Come a little panda. Over. Unburden him of the keys. Oh, it's a tanuki. A little thief, too. Thank you, Kuma. Now, what to do with this newfound freedom? Hmm, <laughs> yes, I've seen them, too. Five weapon crates hiding among the more harmless cargo of the ship. They've shown me their contents. Firearms, grenades, Portuguese imports. More deadly than anything we can fashion here. I think it would be in everyone's interest if these were never to reach our enemy's hands. <laughs> However, we best not expose our presence too soon by resorting to more explosive methods. <laughs> Let us mark these crates with a special sign so our friends can deal with them when they arrive. Patience, Kuma. They'll come to our rescue, I'm sure of it. Ah, yes, the crow's nest. A fitting name. We should hide up there once our task is finished. Now let me leave this cage quietly. No running with that wooden leg. If anyone raises the alarm, I fear it will be over for us. <laughs> oh, great. No alarms, then. Welcome. Thank you for playing our game. For this press preview version of Ico's Choice, we created a basic tutorial so you can find your way back into the game's basic, well, the mechanics much easier. However, I've already kind of played recently uh, both War Mongrels and also Commandos and Desperados 3, so some of the concepts are familiar here. In the final game, the tutorials will be different and players will start with an earlier mission. We'll show you the most important info in the level. There are more detailed tutorials in the mission log that opens with B. You can quick save at any time with F5. Don't worry about save scumming. It's part of the game. Oh, really? Let's see about that. Okay, well, I guess I can do that, but maybe a little less often. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. Kuma, the pet tanuki, can lure enemies with sound. Press D to select Kuma and left mouse to send him out. Once Kuma's in place, press D to make him attract attention. You can call him back by holding D. Normal guards will be allured. Oh, I see. I see. Yep, so uh, they'll be lured away for a while. Straw Hats and Samurai will be distracted briefly, but not leave their post. The uh, more advanced units, basically. So this guy's like a basic guard, but yep, that guy's a Straw Hat. So we got to watch out for him. All right, well, how many crates do we have to mark here? Uh, is there, like, objectives? Mission log? Crate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's see. 1... Two, three, four, ooh, with a crane above it. Five, all the way in the back. Oh, yeah. And that is definitely the uh, Portuguese flag, so 
They are uh, doing some some trading. I don't know if these are illegal goods or what, but we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> this guy's Your sleeping. Turn. I hope he doesn't wake up when I trigger this. Let's see. What your charms, Kuma? Kuma. Yeah, yeah. Let's lure these two away from the box. Kuma, listen. Kuma, go. Kuma, distract them. Oh, it's a tanuki. Fools. Ah, one of the five sinister creeps. Let me mark it with a sign. Oh, don't worry. Yuki Chan will understand now. On to the next. Yeah. A wise choice. Okay, one box down. <laughs> Let's get ready to move. Tired already. Yes. <laughs> A valid solution. Quick. Have you served under Lady Chio before? Lady Chio. Who are we marking these boxes for? Understand she has somewhat of a, a good thought. <laughs> There's the second crit. <laughs> Time has taken my leg, but my eyesight is as sharp as it ever was. Oh, that was close. We have three more crates to mark. <laughs> Sneaking around on a ship full of guns, drawing little markings on their belongings. A shame Yuki Chan isn't here right now. Okay. Just two more left. Ooh, careful. Yeah, they can barely see me because of the light. That guy's got a torch. And there's some lights around, but they're not very bright, so we're basically hiding in the shadows. As the name would imply. Can we go through the door? Oh, I see. We can pop out at the top. Uh, oh, the, those two are chatting. Uh, okay, so when he comes back, we should be able to get to that box. Let's see. I want him to come back and distract that other guy, then we'll get that box. That's box number four. I'm trying to do this in one swoop, too, but uh, I guess we'll quick save. If I don't, I'll regret it, you know. All right. Another box. Another crazy mocked. No, you idiot. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, that's just an example of what happens if you do things wrong. All right, let's get that mark. I was hoping he would go this way. Actually, wait, that's too far. A city, if I'm not mistaken. Right. We can discuss this once we've marked the final crate. <laughs> you are right, Kuma. Lots of precariously placed cargo up here. Surely no one would suspect if there was a living creature exit. Uh, away with you. <laughs> Can't try again. I'll be glad to be off this ship. Waves another crate marked. <laughs> now, did you notice, Kuma? Guards have been mentioning a name. A city, if I'm not mistaken. Right. We can discuss this once we've marked the final crate. Ah, patience. Kuma. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> you are right, Kuma. Lots of precariously placed cargo up here. Surely no one would suspect if there was a little accident. No one will notice. Now call them! to this cabin right after we left. Kill us have the accident. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. Oops, my bad. This shall not be destroyed. Kuma, listen, Kuma, go. <laughs> your turn. Okay, go again. Work your charms, Kuma. What's that? Ah, all right, I'll just ignore it. Why not enjoy the scenery? Kuma. <laughs> Kuma, go. Now 
call them. A wise choice, Rita. Ah, uh, away with you. Shoot. <laughs> yes. Oops. That was indeed the luck. Let us climb up to the crow's nest. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Kuma. Kuma. <laughs> Your turn. A valid solution. Kuma. Kuma. Go. Kuma. Distract them. No. I've survived worse. A good thought. Flawless. All right, now we can get out of here. This is a safer a route. Solution. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Perfect. There he goes. Ocean. What a beautiful sight. Considering the time I had, I haven't been out here much. You see, Kuma, honor and duty once bound me to this land just as much as it binds our friend Mugen now. I hope he doesn't lose sight of what's in front of him. Huh? You are right, Kuma. We have done what we can. Let us rest here a bit. Tomorrow will be an exciting day. <laughs> yes, this is more comfortable than the cage. <laughs> Nasty surprise. My lord? What was that? Ah! Hiding in plain sight. Careful now. Huh? <clears throat> My blade is sharp. You stay down. <sighs> Nothing personal. Taking aim. <laughs> Why is there shooting? Oh. <laughs> no challenge. Story is still being written. <coughs> so many tricks. <coughs> Stick and stab. Elegant landing. I have a question. Yes. We do this for Miguel. <laughs> None shall remain standing. Indeed, and there's the ship we saw at the harbor. I see it too. Maybe Takuma Sensei is still on it. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I spy our faithful companions. See, Kuma, I told you they would come. Let's see if we can't get their attention and direct them towards the weapon crates. Huh? I saw it. The glint of Takuma Sensei's rifle. So, he is hiding on the ship. I'm glad to hear it. He... He wants to show us something. Great. What's the old man up to now? The boxes. They're bad. 
Takuma Sensei wants us to burn them. What do you mean, Yukichan? There are quite a lot of boxes around. No, look. Sensei marked the boxes with a sign. It's a special sign. That's how I know. The contents must be dangerous if Takuma-san deems their destruction more important than his rescue. Firearms, maybe? Would make sense if they came from the Portuguese. Yes. Bad things. Angry things. Things that don't like fire. Very well. Our task is clear. Destroy those crates, then help Takuma-san escape. If we help him reach the rowboat, he should be able to get to shore from there. The rest of us can swim. Oh, I love swimming. Hmm. I shall focus my efforts on the mainland and leave the rest to you. Do not worry, my love. We'll see our friend home safely. Hmm, now you have the whole team at hand. If you need any information, you can find it by pressing B. You can also check out tooltips by hovering over a skill icon at the bottom of the screen. Okay, of course. Uh, the last mission was a bit special because the alarm meant game over. Now we're back to normal game and you can keep playing after the alarm is raised. Just as in the rest of the game. Okay, so uh, an alarm doesn't equal game over. Let's check out the difference between these three. Now, we've already seen uh, Takuma with the ability to have Kuma, uh, the little uh, Tanuki to do stuff, to distract. So what do we have here? We have a uh, ninja, perhaps? Yeah, okay, we have a shuriken here. Uh, we have a master of traps and daggers. Oh, like stealth and uh, wit. Interesting. We have a samurai here. And he has the ability to pierce samurai armor. Uh, okay, so he's probably the only one who can take on samurai or multiple enemies at a time. Looks like he can also throw a bottle of sake to lure enemies. Okay. And here's our master of disguise. Alright, well, looks like we got the ability to fire uh, matchlock pistols and make the enemy sneeze and kill them all with uh, air pins. Very interesting. Okay. Well, let's start with the first guy. I will remain hidden. Have our samurai work his way up the uh, thingy. What do we have here? Uh, if you double click, your character will run. Moving through sand always leaves footprints that enemies will follow, whether you're crouched or not. By pressing H, you can toggle the highlighter, which reveals hiding safe spots. Okay. Uh, select the character with the mouse right. You can use the according key 1 to 5 to change characters. Okay, I got it. All right, so in this case, we'll go over here. Nope, we will not. What? Huh? Oh, he sees the footprints. Oh, this is perfect. I played for the Shogun. Huh? Foot on my oh, that guy didn't even see it coming. Was that was perfect. I will not well, fail. the footprints can definitely be used against the enemy. All right, so before we get started, let's find out where things are. So we've got five crates around what seems to be a large map now. They've taken the boat uh, to shore and have offloaded all the crates. So we got one here by the smuggler's hut, one on the island with the shrine, one on the island with the lighthouse, and one on the island with the tree. Okay, well, oh, there's the boat there. So we'll also have to rescue... Uh, uh, Takuma, once we... Oh, I wonder how we're going to get him down from there. We might have to actually board the ship with the others, clear out the boat, and then have him jump in the little dinghy to get back to shore. Yeah, there you go. Takuma has to be rescued with the little boat. Ah, it'll probably trigger the end cutscene. Okay, let's jump back. And let's find out what this is. A scroll again. Almost all characters have a melee attack, a unique skill they can distract enemies, use their firearm, and can heal... Uh, Hayato can kill enemies with the shuriken from a range or distract them with stones. Yuri can place a little trap with S. And uh, Mugen can use the sake bottle to lure enemies with D. Swordwind 
You can kill all enemies within range except samurai. Oh, there's our main character. Ico's sneezing powder can be used on enemies to shrink their view cone. Okay. We've got plenty of different abilities here. And some of them cannot swim, which is why he mentioned that he'd focus on the mainland. So we've basically got this area here. Maybe two or three uh, crates that he can rescue, depending on how many are around there. Okay. I will be silent. Let's try to take out this other samurai now. I'm trying to at least go for one of the crates today. Although these are definitely the missions where... Silent. Um, you know, this is your type of puzzle game. You watch the patrols, you figure out the timing, figure out who's needed where and when. And then, once you got the pattern down, it becomes easier and easier each time. Upping the difficulty each time and having more fun all the time. I will be there. You think he misread the ladies in stalls, huh? Oh, the Shogun. Ha! Show no mercy. Patience. Like a Bro, I thought we were gonna have a samurai showdown. A worthy opponent. Okay. Oh, they're just taking shots while we're going through the kill animation. Wow, it took 15 minutes to go through the kill animation. Okay. I will be silent. So, like I mentioned, this is what I had in mind. On my way. What's that? There we go. Those tracks shouldn't be there. Wow, they can see the tracks that far, huh? Someone or the Shogun. Okay, didn't go to the target. Okay, let's reload that again. Execution's gonna be key. Let's also go get this scroll up here. Uh, let's see, left click. Oh, yeah, we've already done that. Hiding a body with left click. Non lethal attack. You can press Y for a knockout. Interesting. Control several characters at once, too. I think this samurai is going to be too smart for sake. Water. All right, we'll command several characters at once. I think we get the hang of things now. So sand is going to be really difficult, especially on the literally the island <laughs> called Sand Island, where we're going to need to be stealthy. Huh? Ooh. So that's the only thing that lures him over. Does he not care about it anymore? What? On my way. I will be there. I will be silent. Shadow mode. Record and save your next input. Oh, okay. So shadow mode is how we would command multiple people at a time. Shogun, I will remain hidden. Find you! Very good. I will not fail. Much better execution that time. All right, my man, grab your bottle. Let's have our uh, samurai no guy noise. do some stuff now. So he can't take those guys down. Quiet. The old or I mean, this is our ninja, I suppose. Okay. Closest yeah, thing to a ninja. To catch the reflection of Takuma-san's rifle. Thanks. I bet Hayato-san saw it too. Of course I did. like they already have wagons waiting here. This must be where they are offloading the cup. Uh, if you want multiple characters to act simultaneously, use shadow mode, left shift, and you can save one action per character. Press enter to execute. Okay, so that's perfect for taking out groups. One of the like that. Indeed. Why not bring the others here, I wonder? Don't let anyone touch the crate. Are trained on it. None shall come near. 
I'm going in. Quiet. Move like water. Ooh, that was no close. Noise. Well, we're close to the first crate. Security. <clears throat> they eventually will find us in the bush. Okay. So, we need a way to lure that guy away from there. Move like water. Strange sound. But you certainly can trust this Let's make Well, he won't move, but he will look. Time for salt work. <sighs> I'm going in. Are you sure it? Cutting wind. Okay. So that might be an easy way to clear this area. All right. I think we got this one. Alright, so we just time it when this guy is facing south or chatting with the other guy. Blades ready. Okay, the time is going to be a little bit different than that. But this guy can go down with the shuriken now. Once we get down here, we're going to need the uh, samurai or just time it to swing around this way and worry about that patrol later. Blades ready. <laughs> Should he can jutsu? Are you even paying? <laughs> Cutting wings. Quiet. Ah. So those are the three guys that are standing near the water, but buildings can spawn almost endless numbers of troops. And these are musketeers. Damn, that looks cool. Now, to go through this perfect stealth would be a real damn challenge. Alright, our goal today is to try to blow up one of the five boxes, and then we'll go goof around with Grandpa and see if we can get him to uh, shoot some targets here. No danger, right? Yeah, just a couple bodies, guys. Don't worry. Anyone here? Don't try to hide. Really? Oops, wrong button. <laughs> better. That's the type of timing we want. The problem with the shuriken is it takes a very long time for those guys to go down. It's not immediate at all. Not even, not even close. No noise. Move like water. Okay, H for the bush highlights. Very nice. All 
Are we able to jump down into the bushes? It looks like we might be able to. Oh, cool. Alright. Should he get ready? I never miss. Assassin alert the others! Quiet. I'm going in. We're not hunting Careful, ghosts. they could still be here. Keep your eyes open. Eyes open, everyone. There's nothing here. Wow, we gotta wait a while, but let's take a look at some of the other sites while we wait. Tree Island. I mean, look at how difficult Sandy Island's going to be. There's nowhere to hide. Well, I mean, there's a few caves and things, but all those patrols, man. Okay, there goes that alerted patrol. Wait, who? Wait, what? Ah, just a flesh wound. Ha! A worthy opponent. Intruder! Death to the attacker! Sword win. <laughs> Can you kill everybody, please? Oh, yeah, that's annoying. Alright, so the patrol went back that way. Patience. I will be silent. There we go. He misread the lady's instructions. In the hands. No noise. Many wells have passed through these hands, my lord. You can put your trust in me. Okay, the patrol's returning to the house. on permanent patrol. I'm going in. Quiet. Move like water. Guy here is a problem. You oh, and we weren't in the bush. Uh, quick load. I'm going in. Huh? I cannot reach crawling through the thicket. Being attacked. Hmm. I'm going in. Bad time to quick save. You shouldn't oh, not hurt. Oh, Being attacked. <clears throat> Attack on sight. Are you certain you saw something? Kill the heart. <laughs> Quiet. In jutsu. I'm going in. Ah, that hurt. So we'll die if we engage him. Yep. Well, our only choice is to run. Ah, that hurt. Move like water. Up. Damn. No noise. Ah, being attacked. Hmm. Ah. 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 You cannot fool me. Yochi Kakore. Oh, you cannot. Oh, God, not ready. Needs more time. <clears throat> ready and the last shot. Ah. Ah, let's try that. Not hurt. Let's try the uh, rifle. Pistol last There, one of 
the weapon crates the old man has marked. The kanji on the loot seems very curious. I'm going here. You there! Ah. Kill this head on my mind, intruder! No Over noise. There. I saw them. Hold them. I can't reach them. Sweet. Quiet. I'll patch that up. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, kind of sloppy, but I'm pushed for time because I want to see more of this. But uh, see, now we can refine that and do it with uh, two characters, so we can basically get up here pretty easily and sneak past the samurai with the uh, lady here who can uh, climb vines and also this guy. So these two can work together to uh, create maybe some sort of a trap or whatnot for the samurai to walk around when he's here, take out that patrol when he's on his way back, and silently sneak past the rest of these guys. My name and fire next to it. Fire and snow, huh? Cheeky old man. He knew only you would figure that out. It's burning. Better get some distance. Yes. One bad crate gone. Gunpowder. Guess I was right about the firearms. The Shogunate will be safer without them. Well done, Yuki-chan. Let us proceed to the next. Hi, Master Samurai. All right, that should be the easy one. The next one would be just swim across the river and avoid these patrols, which is easier said than done because of all the, uh, all the sand. But there could be a way for two characters to work together who could swim, just like I mentioned before with Yuki and Hyato. And then we can go ahead and try to take them out from a distance and then get up to the crate. However, the problem is everybody's looking basically down the hill, so that'll be interesting. Alright, well, as some uh, little extra fun, let's try uh, Grandad up here with the uh, sniper rifle. Uh, the end from Metal Gear Solid 3. We can shoot all these guys on the sand island. And then wait for the patrols to leave. Takuma-san aids us from above once more. Just like old there we go. Let's see how many kills we can get. Oh, the samurai didn't get shot and die. Oh, they can only be downed. No way. What? So samurais can't be killed by guns. Samurais can only be wounded for a temporary amount of time. Wow, so not only are they smart. Another thing is, too, is I want the... Uh, it would be nice if the voice actors were to... Uh, kind of be a little louder than the screams of the troops. It's very quiet. A lot of these guys are quieter than the actual patrols in which they represent. A city conquered. A warlord loses his head. Victory is ours. A pair of cages. The horizon swallows one. Thankfully, not both. Sleep of the righteous. Not without no leaving danger. this mark. Return to your post. A captive escapes. My last shot it. is shot. Silence. All this commentary. Not bad at all. They that's good when you time things right. We're rushing. All right, so look at all the detail here. I love the uh, like the nice, you know, dark line outlines on everything. We've got a little uh, nest going on there. Things moving around in the water. Pretty damn good. And this is definitely one that uh, you know, for example, War Mongrels is based in World War II, having access to World War II weapons. And Desperado Three is kind of like this, but based in the Wild West. This game is really like an alternative version of uh, not even alternative, but Really, just like a ton of fun of the uh, Robin Hood games from long ago as well. But these, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, like uh, tactical strategy games that aren't turn-based or whatnot, are absolutely stellar, and these missions are challenging. Now, this mission here, again, as they mentioned, is kind of more handcrafted for, uh, you know, the review at the time. So the missions towards the start would be a bit easier, and probably would only involve one or two characters to begin with, and then eventually meet with the rest of the group so you can get all their skills in and kind of like be forced to use one or two skill sets until you get access to them all five wise. But this is good. Now that we have access to all five characters, well, essentially four because the old man can only provide sniper assistance a little bit. But anyway, with these four now, we can, yeah, we can work on these two here to uh, swim and then use the samurai to take out maybe the other samurai and then make our way towards the hill here. 
and uh, try to sneak around. But definitely one of those trial and error games that are just fantastic. No one here can say they beat uh, Commandos on their first try or 700th try with all that quick saving. But as they say, save scumming's part of the game, which is good. Every single inch is an experiment, and I like it. Very nice stuff. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little preview of what's to come for the release of Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, Ico's Choice. I think that's the name of the character, but if not, it's all good. You can see all the characters there, too. Of course, we have the, our samurai and our little ninja, the old man, and even Kuma, the wonderful little tanuki. You guys have been fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the trailer and all that good stuff. Smash like if you would like to see more of these games on the channel. I'd like to get better at these, and these types of games take certainly a lot of time to see the, the path in which lies before you and try to hone your skills. So, I'd love to do it with your support. So let me know you'd love to see it, and let me know you're a fan of these types of games. See you all very soon. Thank you very much. Take care. We'll see you. Goodbye.